I think October is probably accepted as one of the best months of the year for carp fishing. Carp are in their lovely autumn colours and normally big weights. And I've always loved going out in October. So maybe you guys will spare a thought for us guys at Nash Tackle. It's our busiest month of the year. Um, it's accumulation of all the thinking and innovation because uh, it's the start of the trade show season. So October, we're working from dawn till dusk with customers showing the gear and we can't get out. I've also, to add to my woes, been asked to do this short film and show you all the new gear in only six minutes. So here we go, as quick as I can. Carp Cradle, it's my favourite unhooking mat. We've had it for a few years now. Um, it's never really sold well, I would admit, probably because people wouldn't pay the money. Uh, it's very expensive to make. I've taken all the foam out of the bottom though, which isn't needed because the carp's off the ground and we've really knocked the price down to try and get you guys on it. So I think it's the best unhooking mat for carp safety. Also got another great system here called the Captive Mat. Folds up really neat. It's got the padding you need and the walls to stop fish uh, jumping out. And there's a great sling retainer to go with it that's got these Velcro pads so it seals on either size of Captive Mat. This is a bit different and you may think at the beginning what we're looking at this for. It's a new brand called Peg One for the commercial lakes, you know, they're all full of carp. But this chair, you put a rod pod and tables on it. I have to say, if I was just fishing the daytime, I'd have that set up myself. Come on Winston cameraman, let's look down. Um, new range of Barra Logic luggage. Uh, we've got the great tracks Barra, so we thought we'd look at um, our Barra luggage range again. Some great new parts. These panniers are awesome. They can be fitted anywhere around. You could put 10 on your Barra if you like. I also specifically point out this as well. This is a Barra cover inside this top pocket. Just pull it out, it goes right over your Barra. Then underneath is a zip pocket where you can keep your lightweight waterproofs. The big one for us, the one that the whole cart world is buzzing about, excuse the pun lads, is the new bite alarms. The sirens. Packs full of new features that haven't been done before, like the illuminated wheel, built in car piers, so they haven't got all this metal around there. Hockey sticks I hate, always knock them out of lines, so we screw the indicator straight in. And the big one for me, they're operatable from your bivvy. After all, we don't get up off the sofa to change the TV, do we? So why do we have to do that with bite alarms? The great indulgence range. Just one range of bed chairs now in the three models. The Airlite SS3 has been a fantastic success for us. And frankly speaking, I think it should make bed chairs obsolete. I wouldn't go back to using a bed chair with a sleeping bag when you can have the whole system in one. A few people moaned about the cold last year, so this new one has a strip of material going all the way round which seals the mattress on so there's no uh, airflow getting through there. I called it airflow, I wanted it, but others don't. There's also a new model, Airlite 4. So this new one is four-legged and taller, more of a, a big bivvy bed really, you know, ultra comfortable. <coughs> what else we got? A few little great bits here. Um, this one is making people sit up, a barbecue. This idea come from Gary Peter Tackle Box, and we love it. I think, I think a lot of guys are going to be on it. I'm using mine now, and you know, I'm not using my cooker hardly at all now. I've cooked for four people on that. Um, new item for box logic, rig boards in two lengths. These are wicked. Had this idea a few years ago and then forgot it. Um, with a chod rig, you got your end in the lead, didn't you? Well, so it's very difficult when you break down your rods. You just stick your lead in there, hook it on your butt ring, and then of course to stop your chod rig flying around, you can wrap that around the chod rig and it doesn't stop the curve. Right, I'm running out of time, Winston. So I'll come to what's caused a huge response, the new Titan Brolly. It is wicked. I used it in a tackle DVD we've done recently, and I really didn't want to go home. It's a proper carp angler's shelter. It's also like a little TARDIS. Winston, can you see me in here, mate? Yeah, yeah I'm sitting on this full-length high bed chair. Me. I'm not touching the roof. I've got enough space for all my kit. It's the strongest umbrella in the world, of course, because it's based on the Titan principle. But yeah, it just looks right. I had a customer, a good old friend of mine, in the other night, and he said it makes you want to go carp fishing, and I think that sums it up. Uh, there's another Titan as well, a two-man. 
A proper two man, that's two wide boys in there. Winston, we've got to shoot outside quick. I don't know how much time we've got left. There's one more bivvy I want to show you. I love it because after all the years that Pramwoods have been around, we've managed to reinvent even the Pramwood. It's called the Globetrotter. It's a proper two man. Two beds in here and loads of space. And frankly speaking, if you're doing a week or two abroad, you need this space for all your kit and the girlfriend. Otherwise, you've got to put it in the rucksack pocket. But what's interesting about it is that when you see, guys, we've turned the frame round. So unlike other pram hoods, when it hinges front to back, it hinges from the side. So it's two frames. And that means you can have a lovely vent next to your bed and get plenty of airflow. Have I run out of time, Winston? No. Bye. No, I haven't. Right, got a bit more. Um, what else? Oh dear, 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 dear. God, there's so much uh, stuff to show. I've got 15 seconds apparently. Oh, the new rod skins. I invented the rod skins, some of you may know. There's a new two and three rod one here. They're cracking, absolutely cracking. I'll just point out some as well. All the copies I've ever seen, they put the zip on this side. The way the reel goes to the butt rings, the line's going through there. So, of course, you're zipping all the line up. Only Nash have the brains to put it on the right side. They're worth looking at. Oh, the new chairs few new chairs here. This is based on our old Nomad. Uh, it was an old aluminium chair, really light. People saying, can we have a light chair back? It weighs nothing. It's got a little pocket in there for your shoulder strap. Perfect for the mobile angler stalking or as a guest chair. Our low chair was called the Diamond back before that and the low chair last year, beside the confusion again, it's now called the Sub Low and there's a wide one for those with big arses. And finally we've got the low line chair. Nice little idea this, we've dropped the arms, it's much more comfortable I think with lower arms and for the guy fishing from his chair, he can fish with his rod better. Is that it Winston? You're done. Bye.